Hi, today I will be showing you how to deploy a website on a virtual machine on Azure. So I have a virtual machine with uh, Windows Server R2. I named it Lusion Web. It's an stopped status. Let's run it. <clears throat> Let's click on start and it will take few minutes to start the virtual machine. After the virtual machine starts, we click on connect so that we can do remote desktop connection to our virtual machine. Clicking connect will download a RDP file. Click on connect. So you'll have to insert your password that you set during creating virtual machine. Click OK. Click as. So this will start Windows Server. It will automatically open Server Manager. As we'll be using uh, our virtual machine to deploy a website, we'll be needing IIS Server. So we'll add that feature of Web Server in our virtual machine. Let's click on Add Roles and Features. Click Next. That is good. Let's click Next. Leave it as it is. Click Next. Okay, we'll have to choose uh, Network Load Balancing and Web Server IIS from here. Click Add Features. Click next. So search for network load balancing. Okay, there it is. Network load balancing. Add features. This will help you control your traffic over your website. Let's also take TFTP client. Now we can click on next. Click next. So here we'll be choosing HTTP redirection and FTP server. So you can publish your files to our server using some clients like FileZilla and all that. Okay, click next, install. Mm -hmm. So it will take few minutes to install all those features on our server. Let's wait for a few minutes. So as the feature installation is completed, now we can click on close. have to set in points for TCP protocol and we'll have to uh, allow port 80 to make request for our website but before that let's put website on our server there is a folder called inet pub go inside www root you can create a new folder I'll create a new folder and name it cloud. And create a new file for index.html. Okay, now let's change the extension for this file. Remove txt. 
Now we can add few lines of code so that we'll be creating a new web page. I'll do a simple hello cloud web page for now. You can use So we have created our HTML web page, but let's first check from a local server. Open a browser, type uh, ignore it, and type localhost slash the folder, which was cloud. Okay. So it opens the page we create. Now that we have created a website inside our virtual machine, now we'll have to add an inbound rule so that we can link it to a public network. Click on your public IP address and click on the network interface. Click on network security group. Yeah, NSC. So there you will be setting new inbound rule for port 80 that is for HTTP connections. Give it a name IIS and leave other thing to default. It is port range is 80 and action to allow. So after it creates a rule now you can access your website that is inside your virtual machine using a public network in the internet being outside the virtual machine let's try by entering the ip address So this opens the local host uh, index page that was inside www root. So we have a folder named cloud. Let's try to go inside that folder. That is it. Now next thing is we'll have to map it to a domain name. I'll create a subdomain inside my domain and map the DNS. For that, uh, you can also use your domain provider's service. For me, it will be easy from cPanel. So I'll add a, a record for that DNS. The DNS is the public IP. So I'll copy the IP and paste it. Oh, okay. I'll have to add a name there. I'll give it cloud. So that will make a subdomain and add IP. Let's add that record. So usually it may take up to 48 hours. But for mine, I think it is up and running right now. Let's see. Okay, that's it. So it is the page that was inside the localhost. In next video, we'll, I'll be showing you how to deploy WordPress inside Windows Server on our virtual machine. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.